Hello everyone, I have some chicken cooking here. I'm making chicken quesadillas. We'll go through the ingredients. I'm gonna add some finely chopped garlic. You can add minced garlic, either one, to this. Um, I'm also gonna add some salt. This is about a pound and a half of chicken. Just added a teaspoon of salt, about a tablespoon finely chopped garlic. We'll let that cook for a few minutes. And then we'll add uh, the rest of the seasoning. Here I have some colorful chopped peppers or sliced peppers, sliced onions, freshly chopped cilantro, um, some chili seasoning, garlic powder, onion salt, ground black pepper, and smoked paprika. I have some organic tortillas and some organic uh, cheese. I will definitely try and get this recipe typed out today. We're gonna add some chili seasoning. I like to add it to the meat. So you can do this with either steak or a nice filet meat, or you can do it with chicken, if you like chicken. We're gonna add some garlic powder. Even though we added garlic, uh, fresh garlic, I like to add some garlic powder. Um, it has a different flavor. We're gonna add, and although we're gonna add onions, Adding a little onion salt, some smoked paprika, and then a little black pepper. And then give this a stir. Now, the chicken cooks pretty fast because um, it's chicken and I'm using chicken breast. Uh, you can use dark meat or light meat. So we're gonna add the veggies in. As I was saying before I got cut off, I like them to cook together um, so all those flavors come together while they're cooking. And that looks sort of like the uh, Mexican uh, flat color, so very cool. I'm going to lower the heat um, so we don't overcook our chicken. Again, you can use dark meat if you want. You don't have to use um, chicken breast. I actually like dark meat with these, but my husband prefers um, the white chicken, um, the white meat. So that's gonna cook. Now, over here, I like to use flour tortillas. You can use corn tortillas if you want. I like flour tortillas. These are actually a really good brand of um, tortillas that I found. Actually, I don't even know where I found these. Maybe it was either Ralph's or Walmart. I'm not sure, I don't remember. But these taste very good. Trader Joe's also. And then, of course, our cheese blend. Um, if you don't have this, you can use straight cheddar or whatever cheese you like. Monterey Jack also goes really well with this. I wouldn't go with all mozzarella um, just because I don't like all white cheese, um, but you can use whatever you have available. So again, whatever tortillas you like. And if you don't want tortillas, you can actually make a rice and serve this with a rice. It goes really well with rice. There's a Spanish rice recipe in my new cookbook. Um, maybe I'll take a picture of it. You can use that in uh, this um, chicken goes great uh, with that rice as well. Okay. So I'm gonna turn this off. Right when the veggies start to get tender, woo, that's when you know they are done. I am going to preheat this pan. I'm gonna spray a little olive oil in it once it gets warm. We're gonna put a tortilla on there and I'll show you how to get these pulled together. Oh, I forgot. I gotta add a little bit of cilantro to this. Gives it fresh flavor, fresh herbs. I love fresh herbs. Just add that. If you don't like cilantro, you can leave it out, um, but it does add really nice flavor to the quesadillas. All right, some of you have asked me what's that water sound in the background. I have a little waterfall um, in my house, so I apologize if it's distracting, but I sprayed the pan with some organic olive oil spray that I get from Trader Joe's. It's really good. Um, Ralph's has a good one. Ralph's is Kroger, by the way, for those of you um, in Michigan or on the East Coast. So a little bit of oil on there. I'm gonna paste the tortilla there. And then we're gonna sprinkle this. Oh, hard to do one-handed. We're gonna sprinkle it with some cheese. And this, the cheese is actually going to help the chicken stick to the tortilla and not fall apart. So just want 
piece of my cheese. Then we're gonna get our chicken and layer in some chicken. Not too much, but just enough to make sure every bite has some chicken and veggies. Then we're gonna get some more cheese and put that on top because we have to put the other side of the tortilla. Now you could do half of this and then fold over the half. That's a much easier way to do it and then cut it up. I decide to do the hard way and I just press that down, right? And you want a really good spatula. I'm gonna press that down. Turn your heat on low, let this cook for about a minute or two. We're gonna spray this top with a little bit of olive oil and then we're gonna flip it. Alrighty, so now that it's gotten warm, I press this down to make sure, I don't know if you can see here, actually let me lift it for a sec. You can see the cheese is melted. This is gonna stick to it. I wonder if I can do it without using my hand. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and crispy. I can see it's gonna be nice and crispy. All right. All right, everyone, here we go. Look at that baby. Oh yeah. Crispy tortilla. It's gonna be a good one. So once the other side gets nice and crispy, I'm gonna take this baby out. Put them right here. I have my lineup of hot sauces. The first two are from my sister. For all you Texas people, here's your Texas representation. My Louisiana people, I love this stuff. And then my traditional tapatio. So these are the awesome hot sauces. I have some sour cream there. Let's see if I can cut this one-handed. Ooh. Nice and crispy. Look at that. Ooh, that cheese is melted. That looks good. Sorry guys, hard to cut. Put a little cilantro on there. And dinner is done. This is my quick, my husband calls this one of my go-tos um, during the week because yes, it is a great go-to recipe. Um, to do so fast. You saw how fast I made that. So check this out. I'm going to try and get that recipe written up for you later on today. But you saw how simple it is. Just follow the video instructions and you're going to have a great meal.